Hi everyone, Frank Kim here, and today I'm going to demonstrate to you the principle of chemical equilibrium. Chemical equilibrium is applied to reversible reactions. For example, a, a reversible reaction is a reaction that can bo go, both go forwards and backwards. So, nitrogen dioxide can both combine with another nitrogen dioxide molecule to make dinitrogen tetraoxide, and dinitrogen tetraoxide can also break apart to form two nitrogen dioxide molecules. So if you remember my last video, I um, reacted copper with nitric acid to produce this um, brown gas nitrogen dioxide. Earlier I prepared a test tube sample by simply um, performing the reaction again, uh, filling a large beaker with it and dipping a test tube in it to collect the gas. Nitrogen dioxide is a lot more dense than the surrounding atmosphere, so it'll hang out in the bottom of the beaker, it'll flow into the test tube, and it'll displace the rest of the gases in it, and they're all just going to come out the top. So I then plugged the test tube. <clears throat> so let me show you my gas sample. Here we go. Here it is. It's sealed in the test tube. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add and remove heat to change the equilibrium to make more dinitrogen tetraoxide, thereby turning our system towards the colorless side, and to uh, make more nitrogen dioxide, turn it more towards the brown side. Dinitrogen tetraoxide is colorless, uh, nitrogen dioxide is brown. So. To form dinitrogen tetraoxide, you have to take energy away from the system so that dinitrogen tetraoxide cannot break apart once it's formed to just form nitrogen dioxide again. And to form nitrogen dioxide, you've got to add energy so that you can break apart most of the dinitrogen tetraoxide to form more nitrogen dioxide. So let me adjust my camera position so you can see my method of changing the equilibrium. Okay. So here's my gas sample again. It appears that nothing at all is happening here, but actually um, the concentration of the two gases here is constant. However, uh, this just means that um, nitrogen dioxide is combining to form dinitrogen tetraoxide at the same rate that dinitrogen tetraoxide is breaking apart to form nitrogen dioxide. So right now this test tube is just a little bit below room temperature. It's a little bit cold in here. So we've got a beaker full of ice water right here to take energy away. And we've got a beaker full of hot water here to add energy. So let's change our equilibrium. Let's Cool it down first. Alright, let's give that a moment to cool. Alright, now as we take more and more energy away from this system, um, more and more dinitrogen tetraoxide, our colorless gas, is going to form. And so as you can see, we have shifted our equilibrium towards the dinitrogen tetraoxide because there's not enough energy there to break it down and form nitrogen dioxide. Let's remove the sample. All right, so almost colorless now. Alright, so let's shift our equilibrium towards the brown gas, the nitrogen dioxide, by adding heat. So as you can see, our equilibrium is very quickly shifting towards our nitrogen dioxide. This is because we've added enough energy to break apart our dinitrogen tetraoxide, so that just forms two nitrogen dioxide molecules, and turns our system a dark brown. So let me allow this to heat a little bit longer. All 
All right, let me get the paper towel. All right, now show you how the equilibrium has shifted. So as you can see, our system has turned a darker brown. There's more nitrogen dioxide in there. So this principle is applied to make um, useful products in a reversible reaction. For example, if you want to make ammonia, ammonia is a very, very important fertilizer that's used to feed our growing population. Um, you're not going to make very much ammonia if you just burn hydrogen and nitrogen at standard atmospheric temperature and pressure. So you've got to put stresses on the system, you've got to adjust the amount of energy, you've got to adjust the pressure to get more of your desired product. Now here, you can add heat to your, um, to your system to make more nitrogen dioxide, which is used to make nitric acid, an important industrial acid. Nitric acid is used to make um, industrial and military explosives. Um, to nitrate organic compounds and to make nitrate fertilizers like for example ammonium nitrate important source of the nitrogen nutrient for plants all right so our um, our system is getting closer and closer to room temperature again as you can see it's beginning to shift back towards the dinitrogen tetraoxide So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.